Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. Uh, Brian here and I am popping on briefly to do three things. The first thing I want to do is wish you a very happy new year. I hope you had a good time whatever you did over the festive period. If you had a break I hope you enjoyed it. Um, however you spent it I hope you, you got from it what you wanted and needed. I spent my break in Scotland with my mum. I always got there for Christmas. I got there several times a year actually but I certainly got up for Christmas and spend it with her and had a lovely time and my partner Pete came up and joined us for Hogmanay and New Year so uh, it was really nice. It was nice catching up with friends and family and uh, spending time with the people I love most in the world and um, it was good. The only downside was I had a stinking cold which now seems to be my obligatory stinking Christmas cold. Uh, in fact, I've still got a little bit of a um, frog in my throat from that. You might hear that. Let me just take a, a sip. Um, so, but other than that, I mean, I feel okay, just a little bit croaky. Um, but I hope you're good. So that's the first thing I wanted to do. Wish you a happy new year. The second thing I want to do is to say I have not forgotten about Tarot 5Ws, my tag that I released um, just before Christmas. Um, thank you to all of you who have who have participated so far. I've loved watching your videos. It's been really great. And my apologies to those of you who have done a video but who, who I have not yet been in touch with to say thank you. I promise I will get to you. I still have a few videos to watch um, and I've set some time aside actually uh, today to do exactly that. So I'll be catching up very soon. Uh, but I really appreciate the, the videos that have been made. They've been absolutely fascinating and and they've achieved what I wanted to achieve with this tag which is we have learned a lot about each other um, and our friends in the tarot community and that's that's really what the tag is about so the other thing I want to say about that is that there is still time to get involved if you haven't done it already and you want to I'll put details below of my um, original video videos um, and I'm keeping the tag open until the end of January so just before Imolk when we can spring together into the spring I will do a draw and uh, two people will win a prize um, of either the Autonomic Tarot Majors Only Edition or the Quirky Creatives Tarot both decks that are well worth having in your collection so you have until the end of January to participate in Tarot 5Ws so um, Please do, if you haven't already and you feel called to do so. It's great fun. And then the third thing I want to say is those of you who have been following me on social media or who are, um, apologies by the way for the wobbling camera, I've got a very shonky little setup here and every time I move I feel like I'm making the whole thing sway. So apologies if I'm giving you seasickness. Um, what was I saying? Yes. So those of you who've been following me on social media, on Instagram or Facebook, or or who are a member of my uh, Tarot to the Nines Facebook community, will know that I have a new tarot booklet out, and it's called Tarot Rising 2024. And here it is. It is um, uh, my it's a PDF guide and the subtitle of which is Your Personal Astrological Forecast and Tarot Card Correspondences for the Year Ahead. And where this came from actually was um, I study astrology uh, as well as tarot and thought to myself it would be quite fun and interesting to set out for myself what the key astrological events of the year were going to be and how those could be represented by our tarot cards. And then I thought, well, if I'm going to do that, perhaps I could write a blog post or do a video on the, the broad principle of doing that and share that. And then I thought, why not actually set the whole thing out month by month and uh, share that with everyone? And so that's what I've done. And then I also thought, well, as well as doing a month by month forecast for everyone, in other words, kind of looking at the general astrological weather and how that could be represented by the tarot, why not do a forecast? And then I thought, well, how, what would be the best way of doing a forecast? And I decided to do it, an annual forecast for all 12 signs of the zodiac, but not sun signs, hence the name tarot rising, because the annual forecast by sign are done on the basis of your rising sign. 
the rising sign is the sign of the zodiac that comes up over the eastern horizon or, or is coming up over the eastern horizon at the, the moment of your birth. So you need to know your exact birth time to know your rising sign. Uh, although I include instructions in the booklet about how to find your rising sign, either if you know it, your time of birth definitely, or if you have a vague idea um, or, or a fairly good idea, but it isn't 100% accurate, you can use my rising sign ready reckoner. Um, by the way, just so I'm very clear, I'll na nail my colours to the mast because I know that there's some debate and discussion in astrological cir circles, mainly online actually at the moment, um, that ar around, you know, what's the right astrological system? Is it traditional? Is not is it modern? Is it tropical? Is it sidereal? Is it um, Western? Is it Eastern? So I'll nail my colours to the mast and say, I follow traditional principles. I follow the Western tropical system, which means that I'm following the, the, the principles of what symbolic sign is coming up over the horizon rather than um, the, the, the absolute um, astronomical accuracy of the moment. Uh, and there's a whole reason, set of reasons for that that are about sim symbolism and divination and so on and so forth. It's far too complicated to get into in this video. I'm just letting you know that's where I come from. And um, that's, that's, that's how I roll. So um, with that said, why why is it useful to use a rising sign? Well, if you are following traditional principles in astrology and you're using, as I do, whole sign houses, if you know what the rising sign is of anyone, then you also know what every other house, astrological house on their birth chart, the houses being the areas of life represented by the horoscope um, or in the horoscope, you know what sign governs each one of those. So you know, for example, if your rising sign is Gemini, then you know that your first house is governed by Gemini, your second house is governed by Cancer, your third house is governed by Leo. I know, for example, I'm um, Virgo rising, so I know that my first house of self and identity is governed by Virgo. My second house is governed by, um, can, uh, by, by Libra. So you can work out exactly which sign is governed by which sign of the zodiac if you know what the rising sign is. And that's, that's why I use that system, because it gives for more nuanced delineations. So what tarot rising incorporates is a bit of blurb at the beginning about how you can, that's the rising sign ready reckoner, where you can find using your time of rough time of birth what your rising sign is a bit about the history of tarot correspondences and how that all plays out and how to uh, handle tarot and astrology together i give a, a reading list if you're interested in studying things further and then there are two parts to the booklet the first one is the key astrological dates in 2024 and their tarot correspondences and i set them out like this where you get the month you get all the key astrological dates and then you get the cards, the tarot cards that represent those um, astrological events. And this um, one, January, for example, if you go to my Instagram, I'll link that below as well. You can see this extract on my Instagram and you can read it and see see what it says. Uh, so there's one of those for um, every month. Um, so you can find, um, you know, you know, you can look at them all and figure out what um, works for you. Um, you can guess that that one is October because of the little pumpkin. Um, that's part one. Part two is your 2024 tarot forecast by Rising Sign. Now, um, I've also put an extract up on uh, Instagram of one of these, and that is Capricorn Rising. We're in Capricorn season at the moment because the sun is in the sign of Capricorn, but... Um, Anyone can have Capricorn rising as a rising sign. Whatever other sun, whatever your sun sign is, you can have any rising sign. Um, so I'm a Gemini sun, and uh, I'm Virgo rising. <coughs> so what I've also done here is give the little forecast for the year for that rising sign, and then the key cards that are activated for that rising sign. And you can use those almost like a little spread. To, to help you explore the energies of your year. I also have some information about using the numerology of the year 2024, which is either, depending on whether you use, um, which adds up to eight, two plus zero plus two plus four 
reduces down to eight using Pythagorean reduction, which means that it's an eight year in numerological terms. If you use the, the Waite Smith system, then of course that means it's a strength year. If you use um, the Marseille based system or Thoth system, then it's a justice year. That's entirely your choice. I use the Waite Smith system. So for me, this is a strength year that we're in. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Told you I had a cough. Um, also, in numerological terms, I give information about how to find your personal year card, which is um, where you add the, the your birth date to the year and you get a major arcana card that represents your personal year's energy. So in my case, um, 2024 is uh, um, an emperor year and 2023 was an empress year. And you can either take your personal year card to represent the whole of the year from January to December, or you can do it the way I do it, which is to take it from birthday to birthday. So I moved into an empress year in June of last year. That's when my birthday is. And I'll move into the emperor year in June of this year when my next birthday is. So I'm in the process of moving from an empress personal year into an emperor personal year, all with the context of being in a strength year overall. So what you can do is you can take your your um, the year card for the year, plus your personal year card, and then each of the cards for your rising sign and look at them as a combination of tarot cards that are worth exploring. So that my friends is what tarot rising is all about it's twelve dollars that's a dollar a month for um a guide to the astrological energies of the year looked at through the lens of tarot and um as i say ex excerpts from the booklet are on my instagram link below i hope you will enjoy it and um, those of you who've already downloaded it and uh, contacted me to say that you found it useful um, i'm very grateful for that and so I don't make you any more seasick um, or make myself cough any more than I'm doing already. I will keep this video to under 15 minutes and will say again, very happy new year to you all. Uh, I'll see you again very soon. All the best. Bye.